All right, today's super exciting on Packaging Unboxed with me, Evelio Matos, because we're talking about Adobe Illustrator 2023 beta. And what's exciting here is their implementation of AI in terms of the mock-up capability. There's a lot of other things that they've added to this, but right now the most exciting for packaging designers is the mock-up capability. And we're gonna go ahead and show you. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is I've got some mock-ups here that were created using mid journey. I just typed in like a variety of different boxes and different colors. What I wanted to get was something that showed boxes in different orientations and different perspectives. Why that matters is because we want to go ahead and show the way that this works. Now I'm going to share my screen here. I've pasted the unbox logo. Now we can change the color. It doesn't matter. Obviously you can do that in illustrator all day long. Doesn't matter. All right, we're going to go ahead and make it our, you know, brightish orange. You select your vector element and you select the image in the background. So I've selected both of these. Now you're going to go up to object. You're going to scroll down and there is mock-up. Now you're going to click on make. It's going to take a second. I'm recording video. It takes a little bit longer. And what's going to happen is it's actually going to turn that image, that vector into something that can interact with your flat image. You can see that it's kind of funky looking here. Um, you can see the way that it's wrapping all over all these different items. If we wanted to do something like, let's go ahead and scale this, you know, you can rotate. It looks a little funky. I'm going to be honest with you. It looks a little funky, um, but you're going to go ahead and size it the way that you want it. I grab that image, click here. Now you can just double click so you can move this guy around again. Um, but you can see here, like, like this vector element is now wrapping around these 3D objects in Illustrator. Now we're going to zoom in here so we can kind of see it a little closer. You know, it's wrapping around. Is it perfect? Not a hundred percent, but is it pretty damn cool? Absolutely. So if I've got a box, you know, I've, I've got uh, this pink box here and I've got a logo. Maybe I want to bring, you know, bring this down and click off of it. I'm going to double click. All right. So now if we want to go ahead and create another element here, we can scale that down. Right, we're going to make that one green. And we're going to click the image in the background and we're going to go ahead and click object mock-up. All right. So now I've clicked the background image with the white arrow with your indirect select tool. I'm clicking the logo in the front, go to object mock-up make. So now I've got another element in the same image and hold shift, scale that down. I'm going to move it around to now I've got, you know, this white box with green logo. These aren't the greatest colors but it doesn't matter. That's not what we're focusing on. Now, if I want to move over to this image and you can see this is from mid journey because there's four images all set up. I didn't even bother with setting up like which one uh, I wanted to use. But if I want to have like this logo up on top, like that's pretty quick. And people are saying, well, they'd rather go into Photoshop so they can fine tune it and tweak it. That's great. But if you're trying to just show a quick change or just a quick comp to show a client, like what it is that you're trying to communicate, this does it like that in seconds right? You can go in, you know, change the orientation. You've, you've got some pretty cool stuff. How else can you use this? So check this out. I'm going to use the pen tool. I'm going to make a quick, now let's go ahead and make just a quick box, right? And you can do this. Like if it was a sketch out of procreate or a pencil sketch, um, doesn't matter. This looks completely whacked out of perspective, but who cares? We're just going to make some quick adjustments. All right. So we've got this. It's definitely not perfect. All right. So we've got a quick sketch that we put together ourselves. You can't do the mock-up on another vector element. So it's got to be an image. So we're going to go ahead and export this to screens. All right. So what we've done is we've created a quick sketch of a box. Um, we've done some outlining, got some heavier lines happening in there. Now we've exported it as a JPEG. We're going to bring that flat JPEG back in here. I've brought in this image of the box that we created. It's not the greatest resolution. I probably could have done a little bit better, uh, but we're going to go ahead and select both of those object mock-up make. So it's going to take a second again. It's going to wrap, which is pretty cool, right? That's not perfect. The one thing you'll notice on here is that there's no shading happening on any of these panels. So it gives it, it makes it a little bit more difficult for it to know exactly which direction it's going, where the light's coming from um, and where that perspective is headed. But you can see what's happening here on this side and that side. You can rotate a little bit. Um, when it gets to the top, 
that it gets a little bit confused, but overall, you know, it works pretty damn cool. And there you go. Adobe Illustrator, this is the beta version, which means you've got to go up to your um, Adobe account, download the beta version of Illustrator. That's the only place that you can see this. That means you're going to have your normal AI, your normal Illustrator open. Um, that's going to be still in your doc. And then you're going to have this other Illustrator version, which is the beta one. Same thing as if you're using Photoshop beta at the moment. And what's exciting about this is just the speed at which you can concept. And if you're not, you know, if you're doing sketches, if you're doing 3D images, if you're using AI to create new images, like you can do so many different things. And it's not just angles. They can do organic shapes. So you can do a t-shirt mock-up. You can do a hat mock-up. You can do pretty much anything. And it's giving you a lot of flexibility in terms of speed to get concept to client. Now, what's the future of this? Where's this going? I don't know yet, but it seems like where this is headed is that Adobe is tracking everything that we're doing, seeing what most of us are using it for, whether it's to create sketches, mock-ups. Obviously, we do a lot of mock-ups in packaging design. So it's helping us do this. So why are you not using this yet? And if you're not using this because you're afraid to use this, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, subscribe, give us a five-star rating, and I appreciate you being here. Check it out. I'm super excited. I hope you're excited as well. Test it out and let us know how it works. See ya. It's Valio Matos on Packaging Unboxed.